Hello, welcome back to Algebra. Uh, here we're going to work on the very important topic of learning how to add real numbers without any number line. Now we've been, well, I've already taught you how to add these numbers using uh, the number line to go up and down the number line, but we're going to learn how to do it without the number line, which you'll have to do for pretty much all of your problems. So in this lesson, it's going to be pretty short. I'm just going to write the rules down, and then in the next few sections, we will work tons of problems, and eventually you'll just know how to do it without really having to memorize anything. So the bottom line is we want to consider uh, two numbers because we're going to add two numbers together, and we'll call them A and B. Now A and B are real numbers, so they could be positive, negative, or zero. So what we're going to do is construct a little table here. We'll have the number A that we're going to add to the number B, and we have a couple of different cases we need to consider. What if A is positive? Uh, and B is negative, for instance. What if A is positive and B is positive? What's going to happen? So let's figure out what happens to the result of A plus B, because that's what we're trying to do is learn how to add these numbers together. So we're going to construct this little table, and then we will uh, figure out how to, how to use it to solve problems. All right, so we're going to take the easiest case first. What is going to happen if A is positive and B is positive? Well, these are just, this is the problem, these are the problems that you've been working all of your life. You know, 3 plus 7, 7 plus 9, things like that. Well, these are things you already know. What you do is basically add, I'm going to write it as absolute value of A, and you add to it the absolute value of B, which basically means, since they're both positive, you're just going to add A plus B. And the sign uh, of the result what, what is it going to be? It's always going to be positive, because if you add 3 plus 4, um, then you're always going to get positive 7, for instance. So if you add positive to positive, uh, you're always going to just add them together, and you're going to get